Have you guys ever wondered what the single best Taijutsu in the game is? Well, look no further. In this video, you're going to find out what is the best Taijutsu in Shinto Life. So if you guys enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe to the video, guys. All right, so we're starting off at number 16 with Azurashi Barrage. Now, this is going to be number 16 for a very obvious reason. It's just the 15k damage burst. Uh, you can't combo except with it. There's nothing you can really do with it. There's not really much else to say about it. Azurashi Barrage is just pretty much a very bad Taijutsu. There's a reason why nobody uses this move uh, as well with the next one on this list. Just because they're just pure damage. There's no combo except any potential there's no potential whatsoever with these moves it's just some free damage and you can get free damage by using any literally any move in the entire game now coming to 50 place it could be ryuji axis now i'm gonna use this move here boom it is just another damage burst it's very hard to combo extend with it if if at all it actually does less damage than as rashi barrage but the reason why i'm actually gonna rank it right here instead of ranking it differently is just because i feel like it is a little bit better than as rashi barrage because you can't actually combo extend with it there's nothing much else to say about this Ry ryuji axis is just it's a pretty bad taijutsu uh, you can use it to like as you can see at the end there you can combo extend with it but it's not the greatest combo extender in the world and it's not nearly as good as the other ones on this list now coming to 14 place it could be spirit spear yes you heard that correctly spirit spear now spirit spear uh it's gonna be ranked low for for a pretty obvious reason it's kind of just like a cement rage trail move or stones rage trail move in a taijutsu move if you want to use that move go use those moves they do more damage to this one and uh yeah as a taijutsu move it's not the worst thing in the world because it actually does block break but i do feel like there are definitely much 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 better moves in this game they come to 13 place it could be mighty fist now this is just a worse spirit smash in my opinion it does less damage it's not as good for combo setting has less aoe it's pretty much a spirit smash but a lot worse so spirit smash will be a little bit later in this video but for mighty fist itself you can't actually use it to combo and you can't use it for damage because the actual knockback on the move is enough time to actually like you, that is a true combo they cannot auto dodge that and uh yeah there's a lot of different combos you could do with knockback in this game it actually is a knockback stun move they come to 12 place it could be sabri surprise now the reason for this is because i actually do think Sabri Surprise is quite a good Taijutsu move. Now, the reason why is because it actually does chase people down. Uh, for some reason, it's not. Oh, my character is completely broke. There we go. Um, it's still broke. <laughs> Alright, so Sabri Surprise is broke, apparently. Yeah, okay, so for some reason, Sabri Surprise is actually completely broke, and yeah, um, it's a good move, but it works. I guess since it's broke, I can't really show you guys here, but uh, yeah, it's a really good move. You can teleport to the other person, and overall, it actually is good. Now, coming to the level place, it could be Spirit Smash. Now, this is literally just Mighty Fist, but more AoE, more damage, so there's not really much else to say about it. Um, I already talked about Mighty Fist in this video. If you guys skipped that, you should probably go back and watch Mighty Fist, but yeah, it's good for combo setting. The knockback stun is quite nice. It actually does do quite a bit of damage as well and you can use it to extend combos with now coming to 10th place it's gonna be combo breaker now you guys may be surprised as to why combo breaker is this slow on the list well the simple reason is it's a very very slow combo extending tool you can throw it into any combo and it will work but since it's so slow it actually is very bad for this meta it actually is very easy to perfect block so i recommend not using combo breaker to combos there are better taijutsu now than combo breaker to actually extend them and a combo breaker in it itself is a very uh you know it's a very situational uh combo extender anyway because you have to be right next to them but you know it's far from being the worst hence why it's going to be almost halfway through this video hey you yeah you have you remembered to hit the like button on the video yet if you haven't already go ahead and do it now coming to die place it could be Narumaki barrage there's not really much else to say about this it's a place lock of um, you know taijutsu move that actually does you can use it. it actually does work quite well uh this move itself is actually very very good for place locking someone so like after shindai red clothes you could just use die rocket barrage and stuff like that uh the main reason that people use this is either for the iframes or for the play slots so they use it in team fights in, in 1v1s you should really kind of avoid this but it is far from being the worst they come in an eighth place it could be ember hurricane now they actually did buff ember hurricane so it is better than it used to be uh as you guys can see it actually has no knockback at the end it has knockback as it goes on which makes it so you can't actually combo except with ember hurricane now and actually it actually is kind of as good as it used to be but it you know taijutsu isn't 100 the meta anymore there's not really much else to say about it ember hurricane just overall a pretty decent move um that's pretty good for combo extending all right so coming in seventh place is going to be spirit smash the ability that goes up boom slam it down so yeah i think this ability is really good as you guys probably tell it's at the top eight and uh, yeah a lot of people other people also think it's good it's kind of just unavoidable damage and it's free you can combo extend off of it you can combo start off of it but it is very bad against counter so i recommend do not use this if they're using a counter if they're not using a counter it's literally the best move in the game the coming in sixth place is going to be riot barrage now the reason for this because you can't actually combo except with it as you guys see boom uh you can't use the instant moves to combo except with riot barrage that's the reason why it's going to be this high up i do feel like that is a very very good thing to have in a taijutsu move and uh yeah as you guys can see i did actually just combo extend with it 
Um, not, there's never much to say about it. It's just an instant move that you can combo set with it. it. Like, you can move stack. Boom, Ryan Barrage. I'm going to also use the weapon. Yeah, there's a lot of different stuff you can combine it with. It's one of the most fun Taijutsus because you can actually combo set with it really, really well. And you can actually, you know, combo with it itself. Now, coming to fifth place, it could be Ember Rising. Now, the reason for this is because Ember Rising has almost infinite range. Yes, I don't know why. Okay, that's a bad showing. But uh, for some reason, when people use Ember Rising on me, it just hits me from everywhere. It actually is combo acceptable too so it's really really annoying honestly <laughs> if you're not blocky you're pretty much guaranteed to get set up into this ember rising move and actually i'm pretty sure you can't combo set with it so let me do an m1 combo boom into second okay i'm not using this right uh as you guys can clearly tell i'm not using the move correctly but the move is really really good for combo setting it puts you to an air combo you guys know the rest now coming to fourth place is going to be the newest taijutsu move in the game shiki hurricane now this move is a lot better than a lot of people think because it is so fast it's very you know at first of all you can't use it is instant so you can't combo set with it it does a good amount of damage it is it is very very fast you can use it to escape situations and i do actually think shiki hurricane is really really good now on closed maps i do think it's not that good because for some reason it teleports you afterwards um that it's not really that good for that but the move itself is really really good i think the people that are hating on this move either haven't used it themselves or just haven't had a good experience with it because the move is very 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 good and the company to third place could be bruce dragon combo now this is the move this is the newest oldest taiji to the game so it's the oldest new one um it's a good move there's not really much i'll say about it, it does a lot of damage you could combo set with it it's really easy to use it's really easy to extend with and it's overall just a very 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 usable taijutsu move uh there's not really much else to say about it besides it's just a pure combo setting tool but it it it's good it's it's super good you guys should check it out if you guys have it and uh yeah there's not much else to say about it it's just a really really good combo setting tool now coming to second place it could be ember entry now first of all it's a block break it's good for combo setting that's let's just get that out of the way it's good for combo starting it's good for combo setting it's overall just a really good move but the actual movement of the move is what makes it so good because you can use it to escape so many different situations you can use it to escape a bunch of different stuff so like boom i'm gonna go to the sky like this boom free health pot and it's very hard for them to cancel and stuff like that so i do think ember entry is one of the most versatile moves of the game i do recommend putting it into every single one of your move sets at least one of your slots because it is a very 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 versatile move itself but the thing that holds it back is uh just simply that it's weak against counters but you still can use it for a movement even if they're using a counter by the way guys what is your favorite taijutsu in the game what is just your go-to taijutsu move in shindo life your table class below we'll be checking them out now coming to first place as the best taijutsu move in the entire game is going to be dynamic stop barrage now the reason it's going to be good first place is because it's a ragdoll it's good combo center it's pretty much just vengeance but in a taijutsu move so it's ve it's a vengeance move and you guys know how good vengeance is or was and put throw that into your element slots and that's literally just it's just a vengeance move as a taijutsu move so it, there's not much to say about it besides that it's just a really really good taijutsu move for combo book setting and yeah it's as good as the bloodline move anyways guys if you guys enjoyed this video thanks for guys bye bye